Hello friends, welcome to Applied Programming Tips. And today we will talk about N inject dependency injection tools. So, in this tutorial, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to configure N inject uh, in uh, Visual Studio. So, I will use uh, N inject uh, test project. Uh, to to uh, uh, configure an inject I mean I will use an inject test project to test whether an inject is working or not uh, we can uh, we can use MBC SP.NET and other project to test and uh, to test an inject uh, dependency injection is uh, uh, working or not for uh, but for uh, simplicity i uh, will use uh, an inject i will use any unit test project to test whether an inject is working or not so uh, i think it is clear uh, our agenda will be to set up an inject latest version 3.3.4 in visual studio and we will create loosely coupled data access layer and we will test it with and without dependency injection in, uh, in any unit test projects and we will see uh, what is the benefit uh, and uh, uh, what what is the benefit of uh, an inject uh, uh, when we use uh, it is as a dependency injection so let's jump into the visual studio so that uh, i can show you uh, all these things practically so let's jump into the visual studio so here here you can see i just created a simple uh, uh, you can say loosely coupled uh, project so you guys know uh, most of the time uh, we play with the data I mean database we play normally we play with the data database so uh, so you guys uh, should aware uh, about uh, should be aware about Dell uh, it means data access layer right so uh, I just created a simple data access layer having one uh, data repository so I think you guys already know what is data repository and data repository is nothing uh, data repository is kind of class having create update delete and get method so you can see here the simple edu.net code see the simple edu.net code so I'm just inserting here, updating here, and deleting the data here, and getting the data here. And I'm using simple uh, test database uh, with a table uh, data. So uh, you can see these are the dummy data. So let me clear it. Let me clear it and we will insert newly data so let me clear it hmm. delete from dbo data so this will use use test right so execute and now our table is empty right so you can see here I'm just passing connection string to data repository and on the basis of connection string is create connection and uh, SQL command use this connection and create the command and we pass we are passing input and opening the connection and executing the query and returning the last inserted uh, identity identity column. 
so so uh, 